In this video, I'm going to show you what a personalized GPT is and why you should be using them in your day-to-day -day work. At the end, I'm going to show you a GPT quiz master that I've created for our data analysis in Excel course. Now, just like ChatGPT, the original version of this, this is a large language-based model which helps you automate certain tasks. The difference with a personalized GPT is that you can make it perform a specific task according to pre-programmed instructions, and that saves you having to write them out each time. I'm in ChatGPT4 here at the moment. If I go to Explore GPTs on the left-hand side, then I can create my own up in the top right. And here I can give it a name, a description, instructions, and so on. So for example, here I've called this one meeting transcript summary. The description shortens a meeting transcript into key bullet points. And in the instructions, you can give it some instructions such as read through this and summarize it into 300 words, pick out key action points and assign them to specific people. And that way we can distribute a meeting summary very easily based on a meeting transcript, which also could have been generated by AI. Once you've set up the GPT, it's set up to repeat that task at a moment's notice. No need to restate the task each time. And this way, it ensures that it's done consistently. I've created a GPT here in this final tab called Data Analysis in Excel, GPT Challenge by CFI, which looks at all the course material as part of our Data Analysis in Excel course, and is going to give you a 20 question quiz to test your skills in modern Excel functionality and formulas. Hit the Start Data Analysis in Excel button, and it will pop out the first question before guiding you through the quiz and giving you your score at the end. Now, you don't need to make your GPTs this complicated, but I would encourage you to explore how they can help you automate those repetitive tasks that you do day in, day out at work.